<clears throat> Good morning and welcome to Darth Grumpy Dad Games. All right, I'm going to start with a short stream here really quick. Um, at this point, I have gotten my Slayer path open, right? For the most part. Right, reforge away, da 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 da. So, I'm going to, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hunt down the exotics, right? There are six, I believe, exotic weapons in the game. And uh, although they're powerful, they have unique skills, they're not legendary. So, like the ones you get from the crafting from the trophies of the main bosses. So, I'm going to use, uh, even though it's level four here, I'm going to use my, my uh, chain blades because they have a good dash on them. Because we're going to be going places we shouldn't be in. Alright. Now. First one. We are going to go to Cape Fury. Yeah. See. I'm not supposed to be here. And I'm going to launch a private hunt for this. Yes. I know. Yes. Yes. Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. So. Because I'm a. Uh, really low i'm gonna do my best to avoid all the behemoths because they will one shot me up in here doo, 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 doo. while this is loading i go a little message to the chat all right and i'm kind of and i'm not going to edit this video for da -da -da. it's going to be as long as it is probably around 15 minutes um but I'm also letting all the load screens and all that. So if you're following along, right, on your own game and you just have this running on your phone or something like that to the side, you can have time to follow me where I'm going. Now, Cape Ferry, first one. See right over there, directly across from us, that mud slide and that little uh, Aether Jet is. We're just gonna fly right over this guy's head. And hopefully we don't get shocked out of the air. Yay. I'm right in here. Ha ha ha, no patrol keys. Well, I haven't done my morning run yet. There we go. Now we take this to Willis Borman. And uh, he is going to give us the blueprints that we can use to forge, make Skull Forge at his neighbor over there, the armor. All right. Next, we are going to go to Hades Reach. This one's this one's not quite as easy to find, but it's still a fairly direct route there. Again, I'm going to start a private hunt, and then when I get back to town and I uh, get all my blueprints and get them open in my. Uh, crafting menus I'll I'll just track them so as I get the materials to make them I can make them because they're all they're all quests it's all quests to make these um, some of them you're gonna use some of them you may never use and this one is molten edict it's a, it's a hammer skull forge is a helm the first one we got which has a cool effect that it gives us a a, um, sh a shield for our uh, stamina, a stamina shield. So basically is what you'll do is you'll burn off a bunch of stamina until it gets down to a certain point, And then you're going to start attacking the monster. And it'll create a stamina shield so that you don't lose any more stamina. And that's for builds where you do more damage when you have less stamina. Now this one I could it's a good chance I can get killed in here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda there is a more direct way. But I'm gonna try and Alright. Ooh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Run around the side. Don't go away. 
kind of have to avoid some of the behemoths here. Uh, yesterday, I, I tried, tried to figure out a way I could do this without having to go way, way around the behemoths. Uh, you know, flight, straight fly track to it, but uh, it's kind of not that way. And then we get here, and we're going to look, okay, right over there, I believe. No, over there. But while we're on the way, <clears throat> when we do get to the point where we're here and we're doing the Krolachi quest line for the exile, he wants you to bring him some food. And that is right up here. You can get this right here. But oh, supply crate. Hmm, could be useful. All right, and that's for the guy I like the purple question mark over there. The Krolachi is up on an island in the middle there. And that's the first thing he asks you for <clears throat> is some food. Now, like I said, I would like to take a little bit more direct route to get over here. Because you can pretty much just cut across through there, right? All right, you come over here, and there's this jet, there's some Omni Stone, and then there's this. Right here, you run up this, and right here, right here, look at this, right here. Right there, yeah, there it is, there it is, yeah. This is where we get the Molten Edict Hammer, or the, the blueprints for it, right? So we go to Moya, she gives us the blueprints, and we can craft it at Wills. <clears throat> Next... We will be going to uh, Razor Cliff Isle. Yeah, I wrote these down. Just to remind myself, because that's, that's how good my brain is. Again, going to have to launch a private hunt here. Yes, 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 I know, yes. Much too challenging. We'll die, we'll die quick. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. And this is for... um. Prismatic Helm, Prismatic something or other. And is what this does is it gives shields, right? So if you're resing somebody, it gives you a shield. It helps, uh, it gives them X percentage of life over what somebody normally gets when you res them. I mean, it's helpful if you're, if you're, if you're, giving somebody a boost and they're a really low level and you're helping them kill the monsters they can't kill it, it's helpful for you and you res them now again we're going to try and avoid monsters so we're going to cut through the trees right here there's a chest right up here normally oh maybe not we're going to come to this peak right here and then we're going to just fly across to that island. We're kind of skirt the edge, actually. I don't think I got enough stamina pumped into this yet to be able to... Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. We're going to skirt right along here. And, ooh, boom, out of stamina. And then this waterfall right here. So this is down in the corner. There's a lot of events here. I'm sure you know where it is. We're going to poke our head behind this here waterfall. Right here, right here, right here. Look at that. See that little statue? Little statue of Rezakiri there. There we go. So we go talk to the Scarred Master. Scarred Master gives us the blueprints. And then we can go to Mora to have this made. All right. Next on the list is Paradox Breaks. Oops. Now, Paradox Breaks is where we pick up our Time Armor, our Time Weaver Armor, and the God Hand um, War Pike. Paradox Breaks. Yes, yes, Private Hunt. Yes, yes. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Now. Re two reasons why I'm doing this is a short video. A, I want to get 
to gaming and I want my stream to be gaming, not just hunting down things. And B, when I put this on YouTube, really, uh, it's it's really, you know, who watches stuff on YouTube and the durations of the videos is way different than here on Twitch. Here on Twitch, people will gladly watch a two-hour stream. They watch it like a TV episode, right? On YouTube, not so much, unless you're a mainline, like, political streamer or something, or Joe Rogan, someone like that. Nobody watches a two- or three-hour stream on YouTube, usually. Um... You have to be a big name celebrity for that to happen, but they do search a lot of how to videos, right? So, so this will hopefully come up in those, some you know, new players looking for the exotics. And yeah, this one's for you guys, it's for you, yeah, yeah, you. All right, all right, here we are. I know, I just like. Yeah, sometimes I get crap for it. Some people enjoy it, but I obviously make a lot of pop culture movie references all the time. One of these days, I'm probably going to end up being Dean Forty, right? You didn't get this guy's permission to use that term from that movie. It's also why I don't have any music playing in the background or music on my channels or... Right in the background, which would be awesome. I love having music in a little bit low on the low. Okay, anyways, we're going to make a straight shot back for the temple back there. See the big circle back there? Temple. We're making a straight shot for that bad boy. Right, and then we're going to take this jet. We're going to hop up here. I'm going to run over this jet right here. And it's going to pretty much just shoot us right up here. Pow. Now, this is a cool place to go to grind for cores. All right now, right before we get to this walkway, see the long walkway? See the little skitty? Right there, see that? See the sand slide there? The, and then right behind it. Boom. Time Weaver Armor. Schematic Time Weaver Armor. Take this to Mora. And you can start crafting your time losers. Like a, a couple of builds I use. One uses the helm. Uh, one uses the forearms. I think one build uses both the helm and the forearms. Right? Oh. Oh. Not enough gusto on this. Thankfully, there's no event going on here right now. But yeah, you kill monsters. What you do is you go kill monsters on this island. And you get chrono stones, and you come back here, right? And you put four chrono stones in this and activate it, and it will spawn three behemoths, right? And the third one will be Aisha or Aisha, or you know, I'm terrible with names, I have no idea how to. But Ayla, I think it might be Ayla, anyways. Then you run straight out the back, jump off, take that leap of faith, baby. And this bad boy right here, interact with this. Take this to Zila, the Far Slayer, and she'll give us the blueprints for the God Hand Warpike. Here's the fun part. Uh -huh, I missed that all the time. I guess I didn't need to come back here. And then we go our next place. Go back into your hunt menu, hunting grounds. And we are going to go to the Twilight Sanctuary. Now, again, there's a couple things here we can get at Twilight Sanctuary. <clears throat> now, the route I know to find this stuff is kind of is a little bit roundabout. But it works. And how easy it is to find them depends on when you get there. If it's all smoky like it is there in the cutscenes, it can be a little bit harder to find them if it's nice nice and clear out because there's no events because what happens is one of these island events will be going on and it causes that miasma I believe anyways I mean because you know, oh what do I know I'm just a silly old guy yep yeah, it's gonna be ugly out It's ugly. So, I guess you'll learn how to find it in the ugly. 
Now, from where we land, we're going to shoot straight back here. Got to stay on the path. Follow the little pathy path. It's going to lead us right up to the break in the rocks here. And we're going to keep to our right a little bit. We're going to go right to the cave. For those that have been here a few times, you know exactly where I'm talking here. How to find the cave. We're going to go to the cave. And again, we're going to stick to the right. Grab them mushy rooms. <laughs> Red mushrooms with polka dots. What are they saying here? What are they saying? We're going to come to another Y. And again, we're going to go right. There's some stuff. Da -da -da -da. Don't have. And right back here. Here we go. This is where we get the sword. Uh, um, I can't remember the name sword right now. Oh, I so suck. But there's a sword we get from this. And it is an Umbra sword, right? So we would be farming shroud parts to make that sword. And we're going to come right back out to the Y. And we're going to again go right. Right, right, right. Go to the right. We're going to come out the end of the cave here. And we're going to go. That's right, right. We're going to go to the right again. No, no, don't want to play with this guy. All right, and we're going to kind of, once again, just kind of stick to the right. We're going to go up, up this little incline here. Keep hanging to the right, along the cliffs. All right, and we're going to go to this Aether jet right here, right? And it's going to shoot us up over here. And again, oops, we're going to stick to the right. This is just the way I learned to go here, and I haven't, and then, oh, we got some lore. And another chest. And a goat. Can't interact with this one. He's just hanging. He's lost. He's enjoying the view. But anyways, it's hard to see in the smoke. But like right down there below us, right in there, right? There's a little island. And we're going to fly down there. Nose dive. Now if it's clear out, whoop, almost missed it. You can see from over there, there's a chest on this island. Let me grab these. And you, can, you can use it. Well, there's usually a chest over here. That you can plainly see. Apparently not today. They didn't spawn a chest. Oh, quit mushroom gathering, Paul. Jeez, what are you doing, Darth Mr. Grumpy Grump? Anyways, and then on the point of this island right here, there's a little raven. See the statue? See him? Isn't he cute? There we go. And then we take... Then we go to Lady Luck, and she's going to give us the plans for Tragic Echo, I believe. And that should be all of the exotics. Well, all the ones I know of, anyways. All right, so now we're going to head back to Ramsgate. Twenty minutes. I was hoping to have this done in 15, but I dorked around too much. There we go. All right. Gonna run over here. Talk to Granny Granny. Craft the Hunger. That's the name of the sword, the Hunger. It kind of has some cool effects out of it, I guess, although I've never used it. And then Moya, she's going to give us blueprint for Molten Edict. And, and he's going to give us the blueprints for Skull Forge. And then we'll skitter right on up here.
Oh, she turned to her. I was thinking I was on my Aether Sprout run or something. Talk to Zayla. She's going to give us the blueprint for the God Hand. Go, go, go to there. And then come over here. Talk to me. Come on. Talk to <laughs> Yeah. And she's going to give us the blueprints for the Tragic Echo. All right, all right. And there's one more. Oh, the Scarred Master. And the blueprints for Prismatic Grace. Goodbye. There we go. Now, like I said, we're not going to have the pieces, parts to craft, all that stuff right now. Uh, when I get back into playing, start the next stream, we will uh, track all those builds. So that when we do have the pieces, we can make them because it is quests. You do get some, uh, some rams and stuff for making that stuff. But... That is how you find the exotic weapons in Dauntless. I hope you found this useful. Uh, please follow me here at Darth Grumpy Dad Games. Hop on over, take the link to my YouTube channel, Darth Grumpy Dad, and subscribe, like, share, blah, 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 all, the, all that stuff there. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please take the link over here to Darth Grumpy Dad Games and follow me here. Maybe get some notifications when I go live so you can join me gaming. You can join me in chat. If you're on Xbox, might even get you on the mic up in here. Alrighty then. Everybody have a good day. I'll catch you on the next one.